Welcome to iThrive Ideas. My name is Missy Pollock and I'm a certified financial planner here at Thrive. As we all know, life is fluid and always changing. That's why we always tell our clients to contact us anytime a significant financial or life event occurs. Even events that seem very personal can have significant financial implications. Today, for instance, I want to talk a little bit about the top four things to do after you have a baby. So if you're expecting a child or if someone in your family is expecting, feel free to pass along these four tips. Number one, update your health insurance. With most health insurance companies, you typically have a 30 day window to add the baby to your current policy. So you wanna act quickly. At the same time, you might also wanna consider whether your current health insurance policy meets the needs of your growing family. Number two, update your beneficiaries. Obviously, usually your spouse will remain your primary beneficiary, but then you can also set the child as your contingent beneficiary. Just don't forget to do this across everything, including any investment accounts, retirement accounts, and insurance policies. Number three, update your wills. It's not just a matter of adding the new child to your will. Oftentimes, you can also add a provision outlining who you want the child's guardian to be, for example. You might also consider adding terms as to when the child should gain access to those funds, should something happen to you. For example, you might not want a 21-year-old suddenly inheriting all this money with no adult supervision. Number four, consider setting up an education savings account. There are many options out there, such as an UTMA or UGMA or even a 529 plan. Review each option and then pick the one that best fits your needs. Then the key to success is really setting up automated savings so that the funds just go out of your account and into the other one each month or each year. You can also consider asking others to contribute to the account rather than just giving the child a gift or toy each year for his or her birthday. We hope you enjoyed this iThrive idea. Please subscribe on our website at thrivewealth.com.